hey guys welcome back to my channel so in my last video i shared with you guys that we were having a bit of work done on the house this week it's all done pretty much um so i thought i would run you through so the work that we've had done is we've had our electrician in he's done quite a few bits actually he was here for like two and a bit days doing stuff and we also had someone round to do some work on our radiators. I'm in our dining room right now. You'll notice there's something here and there's something missing here. So I'm gonna quickly take you around the house, show you what's changed and the reason why we've changed certain things. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, I've got some really, really nice radiators actually, which I've not unboxed yet. So hopefully we can sort of unpack those together today. Um, but yeah, let me show you everything that's been done. Okay, so starting off in the hallway. Sorry if you can hear Steve, by the way. He's just filming a video. Um, this <laughs> looks a bit dramatic. So basically we had a plug in the hall here and it was actually, it wasn't... Um, what's it called it wasn't in the wall basically so it was running down with like a plastic piping all the way down there all the way along so we've chased that's the word so we've had it chased into the wall just there a nice double socket because obviously that's where we kind of plug in our internet bits so i need to tidy up this area a bit moving into the lounge so we actually already had spotlights in here um they have removed there was like an old kind of ceiling rose from a previous pendant light. So I've had them remove that because it was just completely redundant. Oh, Mr. Sleepy, look at you. Um, yeah, so we've obviously kept the ceiling lights. So we have four here, which work on one switch. And then we have an extra two, which work on a separate switch. We were actually gonna remove those because they're right above our TV. And we thought that actually it might create a lot of glare on the tv we actually really really like it and it's so nice having lights on different kind of switches so it means in the evening we can just have some of them on it's not as bright um our beautiful brass uh picture light has been removed there was also a really random kind of plug socket that was sticking outside of the fireplace which we've had removed as well because we have loads on the other side also i still haven't completely finished unpacking <laughs> this has been living here all week um but yeah we have like loads of plug sockets on the back we can run an extension lead so there's no need to have like another one there and it was just a bit of an eyesore um so i'll i'll show you some of the other light switches when it's in better lighting he had to move this one down because um something to do with that wasn't deep enough, I can't remember. But anyway, so we have our beautiful kind of light switches here. I'll show you the ones in the other room because it's just better lighting in there. Um, so I think that was everything in this room. The room that's probably had the most work is the kitchen and diner. Um, so as you can see, our beautiful light pendant, if you haven't seen any of the previous videos, I'll put in a photo of the light pendant when it was up in its full glory. Um, I'm kind of sad to see it go because <laughs> it was such a unique feature, but obviously one that we were just never ever gonna keep because it was very much not to our taste. But I do think it is so, so cool and like retro. So we've had that removed. Um, that's the hole for it there. And we've actually had it moved over because the plan is actually that that's roughly where we're going to get a bigger dining table but that's roughly where it's going to go because we're looking at doing banquette seating because we're going to eat into the dining room a little bit when we have the kitchen done so that works on a separate situation to these um so we have the light switches here um, this is probably better lighting to show you guys. So I've gone for these for literally everything. Um, are they cheap? No, but I actually think I got a really, really good price. I shopped around. I got these from a place called Electrical Direct and they came, they came super, super fast, but they are very, very kind of thin, matte black, screwless, just... I mean, you probably can't use the word sexy for a light switch, but if you could, this would be it. it. They are so, so nice. Although our electrician did say that we're lucky that 
we have pretty flat walls because if you want to use these in an older house that you'd really struggle because they are such like a thin profile. Um, I actually didn't realise when I ordered them they'd be this thin but I do absolutely love them. They just look so much more expensive, way more of a feature so I'm glad that we went with that because I was toying with getting the black nickel ones because they are actually a lot cheaper and you can get them from like Screwfix and places like that. Um, in the end these weren't that much more expensive because I had a vouch code and whatever, I will link them down below. But I didn't want to compromise because I just love the matte black. Yes, they'll probably get loads of fingerprints on, but we had chrome in our last place and that was a nightmare as well. So no different there. The biggest change actually is um, in here. So you can see the marks where the old lights used to be. Again, I'll see if I've got a photo and if I do, I'll put it in. But we had those hideous ceiling lights, um, like office kind of fluorescent bar lights. They were an absolute nightmare. Every time you turn them on, they would like erratically flash for a couple of minutes before actually turning on. It was horrendous. So these ones, I know it's such a stupid thing, but you literally just press the light switch and they're just instant, which that's not, we haven't had that for the last month. So that's a massive novelty now. So first light switch does the spotlights in here. Second one does the pendant light in there. Um, which obviously we're going to swap out for an isolite at some point. This switch here right now is not active because that will be for our baseboard lighting in the kitchen. Is it called baseboard light? Baseboard lighting? You know what I mean. We're going to basically get like strip lighting along the bottom of the cabinets when we have them redone. Um, in terms of light layout, I think this is going to divide people a lot. So my one of my pet peeves is an unnecessary amount of lighting. I feel like with a lot of modern kitchens, the whole ceiling is just swarmed with spotlights. And I just think it's so unnecessary. So obviously I've said before, this wall is gonna come down. So we've obviously got our pendant light and then I've just gone for six across the whole kitchen diner. And I know some people will be like, oh, well, that's not enough for us. I think that's plenty. We obviously have loads of room that potentially we could add like one there and one like in the middle there. Um, so we can add that, but I would rather have what I think is correct and then have the option to add more later on. But I think this will be absolutely plenty. Um, so yeah, there's a little, that's not being filled in. This is obviously dead now because that was the light switch for the pendant light, but obviously we've had it switched to these and the reason that I've got one there and one there is obviously because if, if anyone hasn't seen the house door it's really confusing but it like links round so you can obviously go into the kitchen that way or in this way and I wanted to make sure because it's quite a long space that you could turn the switches on and off from here or from the other end of the room as well so we have two switches doing that what else um has been done oh radiator there was a huge radiator i mean you can see how big that has been capped off now um so that we are ready to actually take this wall down um and for this space we have a gigantic vertical radiator which will be going there we've also got one going there as well so these two will be matching um those are the ones that arrived the other day um, so I will show you those as well. Um, the radiator that is going here is to replace this one and obviously this one. But it's a far, it has quite a large heat output. So it's enough to do this whole open space. I won't tell you why that's going yet. But it's interfering with my kitchen plans. So that's why that is going. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on kitchen plans and stuff. Because obviously, yeah, the electrician needs to come back and do other bits when we're ready to like crack on with the kitchen and do first, second fix. Um, what else is there? So I think that's it from the hallway. Oh, um, hello, bathroom. So originally we had one of those pool lights in here. We've actually had that moved out here now. So there's a light switch on the exterior. We've also had the spotlights replaced because the previous ones weren't 
fire rated and they weren't like bathroom spotlights so they weren't appropriate for the room they weren't safe so we swapped those out for some proper ones we've had there was a hideous electric fan heater in that corner there um so that's been removed as well also when we moved in we actually had an electrical condition report done just so that we knew if there was any bits that weren't safe one of them there was nothing major but one of the things that was flagged up we actually had lights in there and a shaver socket in there as well and i don't think it was installed correctly or as it should have been for a bathroom or something so we knew that we were going to get rid of all of this anyway so we've just had that disconnected um we also had a really disgusting old like electric tower radiator in there so that has also been removed i think that's everything for there we have had a little bit of work done in here so in case i think i showed this to you guys before but it's one of our this is probably the most finished room out of all of them um this is our laundry cupboard so we had a water tank in here which was m removed when we first moved in and we had this plumbed in i actually had a lot of questions from my last video about how they were able to plumb it in we were very fortunate because this cupboard is basically there so they have run the outlet pipe you'll be able to see it actually because obviously the side of the bath's open they've run the outlet out the same you get what i mean it yeah it's all linked up so a lot of people said oh i didn't realize you could turn a cupboard into a laundry cupboard and for a lot of instances you probably may not be able to it may be really expensive but for us it was like the perfect location um so we've obviously had basically there are a couple of switches in here and they actually didn't work um so we've had one double outlet put in there i might actually run an extension lead like a power surge one round the back just so we don't have these wires everywhere and i'm thinking of putting my i've got like a cordless hoover i'm thinking of putting the mount here and then i can obviously plug it in here to charge it these are actually dead so they're not live so we will remove those the electrician couldn't do it because he didn't have enough room but at some point we're going to give us a lick of paint anyway so i will remove those and kind of fill it in and everything so that's everything for in there moving into steve's office um very echoey so sorry about that um you guys would have seen in the last video we started decorating in here obviously there's some touch-up work to do but i just wanted to get majority of it done um so those are the two electric tower radiators that have been removed from the ensuite and the bathroom um this loads basically loads of the um electrics weren't chased into the wall which meant that there was like boxy plastic stuff there so that was like a weird location because obviously that's where they had their desk so i've actually now had that one chased down the wall here put down there we do have another double socket there this is i think where steve's desk is going to go so it's a good kind of layout for him <laughs> you can see this is so crazy because obviously this is a really really good visual representation of how much smaller radiators need to be now the radiators that we're getting rid of are so thin and we're obviously replacing them with more efficient kind of double panel radiators that the size difference is crazy it's literally like a third of the size so it looks really random there that that's actually going to kind of sit underneath steve's desk so hopefully it shouldn't be as obvious as you can see i've got a little bit more painting to do around there as well um but yeah we're basically like there's still a lot of kind of white light switches everywhere obviously we are going to be gradually kind of changing them all to the black so they all kind of match um but any new ones have been installed are obviously the black ones so yeah now that those two bits have been done in here it means that we can touch up all the paintwork put the skirting boards back on lay the carpet and actually start kind of moving stuff in here and styling it which is really exciting it is an absolute tip in here the bed's not being made so this is like a little bit of reality um but in the ensuite in our master they that's where there was an electric radiator i've said this before but we wanted that removed because we're going to have a much bigger kind of walk-in shower in that area um so again with this there was a pool light 
which again, when we have a bigger shower, it's gonna be in the way. So we actually had the switch removed to the outside. They also installed a fan isolator switch. I opted to have it above the door. That's how we had it in our last place. Um, and then basically, where there was an electric radiator back here on the wall, the switch for it was actually here. So rather than them patching that, I asked them to put a single outlet there um, because this is where I sit and do my hair. And I've been having to like crawl under there, plug, there's a plug behind that bedside table. So I've been having to plug in my stuff there and it's such a pain in the ass. And I was like, do you know what, since they're here, I'll get them to put another single outlet in there. So it's like a perfect kind of station for me to do my hair now. The only other thing that was done in here, I think, again, there was another, oh, like, hang on, let me move this TV out of the way and I'll show you properly. So basically, there is a power outlet on the wall there. So we've plugged our TV in there. We've got two doubles either side of the bed. We now have that single over there. Um, so there's plenty of power outlets in this room, but they had actually installed, the previous owners had installed another one down there, but again, they hadn't chased it into the wall. So we have just had that removed because obviously before there was some really hideous like plastic casing situation going on there. So we didn't really need that power socket. It was a bit of an eyesore. So we've just had that one removed. Hi. <laughs> okay. So this is the guest bedroom, which is obviously Steve's temporary office for now until we get his done. So not much has changed in here apart from the light. So a bit random in here. They just had a single spotlight, which was actually, I don't know if I'm to film it. It was like the same as these. They're like really big boob um spotlights like really bulbous weren't they so they just had a single spotlight in here previously i got these light fittings ages ago i've literally had them for about three years i got them for our last house and we never installed them mm. so steve hates me for that but we are now making use of them they're just like a really really nice kind of simple brass light fitting you know nice and simple so that is much better now and we got a We've gone for cool white bulbs everywhere. This one is actually like an Edison style one. Much better, um, isn't it? So much yeah, better. it's so like it makes such a difference. Even in the bathroom where we had the spotlights replaced, it's so much brighter. Whereas before we had really like murky, yellowy lights everywhere, and it just looks a bit. That's the first time I've turned that on. No, is it? Yeah. Oh, you're not in, in the dark. Standard. Anyway. I'm gonna, these are our big old radiators that we've not had a look at yet, have we? No, no. So I'm gonna open one of these up and take a quick look. Pop it open. And hopefully show you guys. Okay, so I kid you not, these radiators weigh an actual ton. So this should be interesting. I don't know how easy it is to... Okay, so these are actually packaged up really, really well. They're like bubble wrapped and all found and everything. So, um, this is actually my second round ordering the radiators for the lounge and the dining room because the first ones I got, my hair is mental. Um, the first ones that I got, I got them from B&Q in, B&Q quite often do sales. So they did a 20% off radiator sale. Um, so I actually got some from there and then I realised if anyone's new to the radiator game like me um, The output wasn't high enough for the space that we're trying to heat So I made sure that I got ones. I think the ones that I got from B&Q were just under 4,000 It's like BTU or something. These ones I was recommended by our kind of like heating guy to get um at least 7,000. So they need to be like nearly double the amount of output. So these ones were a little bit more expensive than um, the ones that I originally got for obvious reasons. I shopped around loads. I managed to get both of them for just under 500 pounds. Um, it was basically every single website I was looking on for these ones, it was the same kind of brand. And I actually saw they had them on eBay selling them new but on ebay and i also had a voucher code i'm gonna do a little plug again for honey 
because I've never worked with them, I'd love to, because I use them all the time. It's a browser extension that basically searches all these voucher codes for you. It will save you so, so much money and you also earn credit when you use it. I will link it down in the description because honestly, if you're looking to save money whenever you do online shopping, that is the way to do it. So, it, I think it was like 480 for both of these radiators. They are 180 centimeters high by like 600 wide. So they're really, really big. Um, I'm gonna stop waffling. Let's open these up and see what they actually look like. Okay, so I'm really impressed with how well packaged they are and that's so stupid. They had these like little corner things on them as well to make sure they didn't get all dinged up. Um, absolutely in love. So one thing I will say though, you can, I did notice that you can get them cheaper. I decided to go with the flat panel because it looks a lot more modern. They have ones which are more of a curved panel, which you can get for cheaper but I just thought we're spending this much money. I wanted to make sure I got exactly what I wanted. Um, I'll put in a picture of what they look like because obviously it doesn't really look the same when they're on the side like this. So we just wanted the really, really simple, sleek, modern kind of vibe radiator. I know that a lot of people go for like the anthracite ones, like the gray. Um, this is just personal preference. We decided to go for white because I didn't want it to stand out. I know a lot of people make a feature out of them and they do look really, really cool, but I just kind of felt like I wanted it to blend in with the wall. A lot of the walls are going to be white in the kind of like living spaces and stuff. So I wanted to make sure, yeah, it would just kind of blend in a lot more rather than making a feature out of it. It's such a big radiator that, yeah, I just wanted it to blend in. So really, really happy with how these turned out. I'm going to leave this kind of open for Steve to take a look um, in a minute, but I will leave them linked down below in case anyone is on the lookout they do so many different sizes as well we were looking um so i've actually bought all of our radiators now and we were looking at getting really nice kind of modern panel ones to go in the bedrooms as well it's so expensive to do it that way and so what we've decided to do is obviously in the living spaces we've got really really nice radiators um the hallway one's a basic bitch one we're going to get a radiator cover for that um, and then all the bedroom ones, we've just gone for like normal basic ones because I said this quite a few times, this isn't our forever home. If it was, we would splash out and get exactly what we wanted, but it's just really not worth it. So we've just got the kind of simple normal ones, um, to go in the other rooms. So our, um, heating guy is going to come and change all of those out. I think he's doing the bedroom ones like next week. And then we're going to give him a shout when we're ready for these ones to go up. But He's being super flexible about it, which is very, very good for us. Before I go, actually, I wanted to know your opinion on, I just suddenly remember this, the office radiator. So now that we've painted the bottom half of the room that really dark color, and obviously the radiator is white, it's a brand new radiator, but what would you do? Would you paint the radiator to match the walls? Or would you just leave it white? I'm interested to know. I'm, I'm very undecided what to do. Obviously the pipes, I will paint white because they will blend in with the skirting board and that's fine. But should I paint the radiator to match the wall? Obviously I would use specific paint, which is for painting radiators. But let me know what you guys think if I should paint it to blend in with the wall or not. Um, it will kind of be under a desk but you will still see it. So that's why I'm kind of toying with the idea of painting it. Um, maybe not for a little while, but yeah. Anyway, um, I feel like this has been a very, very long winded video about not the most interesting things, but I wanted to keep you guys in the loop as to certain things that we're doing, having done a lot of things that we're having done to kind of mean that we can move forward with more interesting stuff. So yeah. Now that obviously all the stuff's done in the office, we can crack on with like doing all the skirting, the flooring, all of that jazz. 
so that will be coming up very very soon if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to subscribe um for lots more renovation content thank you guys for watching if you've made it this far um and i will catch you guys in the next one